presidential elections due to take place in Afghanistan on April 5th, many remain skeptical that the efforts of the international community since the fall of the Taliban regime in 2001 have positively affected the lives of ordinary citizens, especially women. Although after foreign forces overpowered the Islamic fundamentalist movement, women were no longer required to wear head-to-toe coverings and girls were able to go to school, they still face many problems. Now as many as 4 million girls are in school and women also sit in Afghanistan's parliament. Habiba Sarabi, who once served as Afghanistan's first female governor, has bid to become the country's first female vice president. In the predominantly Muslim society, women can now even open their own businesses. In a bakery shop where women work amid heat and thick smoke, the owner Bibi Sugari barely makes $250 a month. Most importantly, a hard-fought law on the elimination of violence against women was passed in August in 2009. The law makes it illegal to sell women to settle disputes and criminalizes child marriage. Female police officers, meanwhile, have become targets for militants, with some having received death threats, even from relatives. Last year, the most senior female officer in Helmand province was killed on her way to work. Fears remain that the steps taken forward for women's rights might unravel with the election, with many of the candidates conservatives who share the Taliban's views.